Now I'm going to show you how to find your maximum allowable bottom time. So if we're going to do two dives, we need to know our maximum allowable bottom time for the second dive. The first dive is, let's say, 60 feet for 30 minutes. The second dive is, let's say, 50 feet for our maximum allowable bottom time. We want to stay down as long as we can. The surface interval will be one hour. So we can do this easy. First we know that 60 feet for 30 minutes is going to give us a pressure group. So let's find it. 60 feet for 30 minutes gives us a pressure group of L. So we'll write that down. Pressure group of L. We stay out of the water for one hour will give us another pressure group. Pressure group L stays out of the water for one hour. He is now at pressure group C. See, a pressure group L stays out of the water. The range of time, one hour to hour and 21 minutes, stays out of the water for an hour. He is now in pressure group C. So I'm going to write down C. Was an L, stayed out for an hour, now I'm a C. As a C, I have residual nitrogen in me. My residual nitrogen plus my actual bottom time is equal to my total bottom time. Now I know my total bottom time may not exceed the bottom number. 50 feet, my total bottom time may not exceed 80 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and write 80 minutes down right here. My total may not exceed that. Now I've got to find out what my residual is. If I'm in pressure group C, I know I have residual nitrogen in me. C at 50 feet has, C at 50 feet has 17 minutes of residual nitrogen. To find the answer, all we do is take the difference. So my difference would be, 3, 63 minutes. I can stay down 63 minutes because I have a residual of 17. If these two added together may not exceed my bottom time.